Hello and welcome to this video on the funicular railway that I've built as part of my proof of concept OO gauge layout. I've already uploaded a moving vehicles video to YouTube so I thought I'd better include the funicular railway build as well. Um, as you can see the gondolas are moving up and down this track which is basically just a, a, a wooden board a piece of wood painted grey with some straight OO gauge rails on it with some sleepers removed and it's been built around a wooden frame with wooden ramparts and it uh, I think it looks looks reasonably accurate it uh, it is to scale and the gondolas are actually made from a two-thirds cut carriage and then stuck onto a, a frame. I have included photos of the frame in uh, earlier on in this video, basically made up of cocktail sticks and coffee stirrers and using the, the bogies from a trying Hornby flatbed uh, tr trailer wagon. You get uh, a, two sets of bogies at each end. Oh, sorry, one set of bogey at each end. Uh, which gives you enough for the, the two gondolas. Now the way the it works here is there's a, a winch with an electric motor, a 6 volt motor, and the voltage to that motor is being fed from this unit here. Now this unit is basically a relay which at a predetermined time switches on and off and the relay effectively changes the polarity of the motor. So that's why the so it will go in one direction for a while and then it will go in another direction and then it will just keep going. And the interval is set. You can set the interval on the board as to how long it takes before it changes the voltage. These units are normally used for shuttle service on model railways where you've got a train going from one end to the other. It goes to, the, the, goes to one station, stops, waits a while and then heads back along the track to the other end and keeps going back and forth back and forth now the way those work is basically the rail is cut at each end so that once the the power pickups of the train cross it they can't go any further now obviously you need to be able to get them back so what so what happens is across each of those cut rails is what's called a diode and a diode only allows voltage to flow in a particular direction. So when the train goes to the station, the voltage is going in a particular direction. It crosses the gap and the diode that's soldered across that rail doesn't allow the voltage to, to keep travelling in that direction. However, when the voltage is re reversed, the diode does allow the voltage to flow so then the train can come back and that's exactly what we're doing here we've replicated that system using and I'll just get in while the gondola is going away I will put a photo up there's two glass tubes there which are called reed relays and a reed re relay is a magnetically controlled switch so on the end of each gondola there is a magnet and when the magnet approaches the glass tube it will open the contacts and the contacts break the circuit now across the contact is a diode so the voltage is still flowing but the diode is not permitting it to get to the motor because it's wired it's it's wired in that direction so it will sit there and it will wait and when the polarity changes, the diode that's wired across those contacts will allow the voltage to flow in that direction. So the motor will then go in the opposite direction. It will lower this gondola. And then the other gondola, which has got its own magnet and its own reed relay, will do exactly the same. So that's how it works. And it will keep doing that for as long as there's power going to this little switching circuit here um, and obviously to the motor 
you can pick these switching units up quite cheaply online or you can if you're an electronics into electronics yourself you can make one yourself so that's basically a very short overview of the funicular railway obviously once it's dressed it's been given a, a makeover the booking offices obviously have to go at each end and uh, i'll upload another video but i thought i'd give you just this very very quick overview of, of how it works and i hope it gives you some ideas okay thanks for watching